Hi everyone, we're going to do another art bridge problem with the ellipsis. Um, it's similar to number one where we have to just find the equation and then um, it has a, it gets a little more complicated. So basically I know my length of my major axis is 30 so my A, so 30 is the length of my uh, 2A so A is 15 and I already wrote that on there. We're going from the origin here. And my B is just 10. Because we only have half an ellipse, so the minor axis, we're not even looking at that. So it's just that. So we're going to write X squared over 15 squared plus Y squared over 10 squared equals 1. That's your equation. Let's rewrite it. X squared over 225 plus y squared over 100 equals 1. So that's what we did in the previous problem. But we've got this catch. The roadway is horizontal and it's 2 feet above the top of the arc. So there's your 2 feet right here. So this whole length is 12 feet from the center here where the arc, the bridge stops. So we need to find the vertical distance uh, from the roadway to the arc at five feet intervals along the roadway. So we're going by five feet intervals. We want to find the vertical distance. So, so if this would be five, 10, 15, like that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, uh, put in five. So we did a problem like this with parabolas, so I'm going to do a uh, five feet interval. So they want five feet, ten feet, and um, fifteen feet. We already know what that is, so fifteen feet's easy. So that's fifteen comma twelve for that one. So let's do the five feet. So we're going to just use our equation and plug it in. So my x is 5, so you get 5 squared over 225 plus y squared over 100 equals 1. And I'm going to move everything over and get y squared over 100 equals um, 25 over, um, actually, let me write it this way, 1 minus 25 over 225. And you're going to get, um, when you cross multiply, you're going to get um, 1 minus this. It's just this part here. I'm going to do that first. Equals uh, 200 over 225. Very simple. I just made this 225 over 225. Now, y then, you cross multiply, and you're going to get y equals, let me just do this, 100 times um, 200 over 225, and when you square root it, you get y equals 10 times the square root of 200 over 225, and that is approximately 9.43. So basically what we have to do now is subtract this number from my 12. So you get 12 minus 9.43 and that gives you 2.57 feet. So that's what this amount is right here. Alright, the vertical distance. Now we're going to do the same thing with 10. So let's go to the next slide and we're going to do 10. So you get 10 squared over 225 plus y squared over 100 equals 1. So y squared over 100 equals 1 minus 100 over 225. This amount equals 125 over uh, 225. And then uh, you cross multiply and you get y squared equals 100 times 125 over 225 and you square root both sides 
and um, that's going to be 10 times the square root of this. And just use your calculator and you get a 7.45 feet. All right. But we have to subtract it from 12 because the whole length was 12. And that gives you um, 4.55 feet. So come back to here. So this is this part. This part here is 4.55 feet. All right? This part here was 2.5, what was that? I forgot, 2.57 feet. And this one right here is very clear. This is just going to be um, uh, 15 from either side of the center. It's going to be 12 feet from the arc. Okay? Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.